Now taking a look at the flight computer again, the outside scale of the flight computer not only represents miles, but notice on the left side of the 60, it says fuel. So the outside scale of the flight computer can also represent gallons. Let's set up a ratio. Let's assume that you've used 10 gallons of fuel in one hour. So find the 10 on the outside scale of the computer representing 10 gallons. And you use that much fuel, 10 gallons, in one hour, which is 60 minutes. So move the inner dial around until 60 minutes is lined up underneath the 10 on the outside scale. And what you've done now is set up the ratio, the ratio of using 10 gallons every 60 minutes or 10 gallons per hour. So what do we want to know? Well, the first thing we want to know is how much fuel will you use in two hours? Now, before you look around the flight computer, common sense. If you use 10 gallons in one hour, how many gallons are you going to use in two hours? Of course, you're going to use twice as much. You're going to use 20 gallons. But now, let's take a look at it on the flight computer. Look around the inner scale of the flight computer where the minutes are. Two hours is 120 minutes, so find the 12 on the inner scale. We're going to use 12 to represent 120 minutes because we don't have a 120 on the flight computer. And on the far inner scale, sure enough, it says that 12 minutes, 120 minutes, the 12 representing 120 minutes is two hours. So on the outside scale of the flight computer, we can then read above the 12 for 120 minutes how many gallons we're going to use in two hours. We're going to use, just like we figured out in our head, 20 gallons in two hours, and that's just common sense. Okay, still at the same rate, 10 gallons in an hour. How many gallons would we use in two and a half hours? Well, just keep looking around the inner scale of the flight computer. You're looking for 150 minutes because 150 minutes is two and a half hours. And sure enough, on the far inner scale, under the 15 representing 150 minutes, it says that's two hours and 30 minutes. On the outside scale, above the 15, is how much fuel you're going to use in two and a half hours. And it's 25 gallons. You're going to use 25 gallons of fuel in two and a half hours. Okay, still with that same ratio set in, 10 gallons in one hour. Suppose what we wanted to know now is how long would it take you to burn seven gallons? Well, Gallons are on the outside scale of the flight computer. So look around the outside scale, and what you're looking for is the seven for seven gallons. But you don't have a seven on the outside scale, so you're going to have to use the 70 instead. When you find the 70 on the outside scale representing seven gallons, look right underneath it, and it will tell you how many minutes it's going to take for you to burn seven gallons. Okay, right under the 70, well here's 40 minutes here, 45 minutes, so here's 40, 41, 42. It's going to take 42 minutes for you to burn seven gallons. And you know that because you've already set up the ratio of 10 gallons in 60 minutes, and therefore to burn seven gallons, it's only gonna take 42 minutes. You set up the ratio on the flight computer, which then lets you figure out the minutes or the gallons, depending on which one you want to know. Now, let's change the numbers. Let's assume that the numbers you have are this instead. Let's assume that you used 15 gallons and it took 45 minutes to do it. And what you want to know is how much are you burning per hour? How many gallons per hour are you using? 
So we set up the ratio on the flight computer of 15 gallons. Remember, gallons are on the outside, so turn the flight computer around until you find the 15 on the outside scale. Minutes are on the inner scale of the flight computer, so move that inner scale around, rotate it, until you find 45 minutes, and set the 45 minutes underneath the 15 gallons. And you've got your ratio set up now that you use 15 gallons in 45 minutes. Now what you want to know is how many gallons you'll use in 60 minutes, because there's 60 minutes in an hour. So without rotating the dial, just look around the flight computer to find 60 minutes. And when you find 60 minutes on the inside scale, the outside scale will tell you how many gallons you're going to use in 60 minutes. And how many gallons do you get? Sure enough, you get 20 gallons in 60 minutes because in 45 minutes you used 15 gallons. You just set up the ratio between gallons and minutes on your flight computer.